I don't think it's something that you discover. I think you discover that it exists. Years ago, I'd seen this interview with a Cirque du Soleil hair hanger. I found a girl who would teach me and it was just the most wonderful thing in the world. Uh, she, she doesn't realize it. She's, she completely changed my life. My name is Emily Winters and I am the human hair hanging disco ball. Typically before I go on to perform, I'll spend some time warming up and then I'll brush my hair, I'll have something to eat, I'll have a look at um, what gigs I have that day and then I'll kind of plan my hair around it. I've been at Proud since September last year, so coming up to a year now. The show here at Proud Embankment at the moment is it's a very immersive experience. We're taking you to Proud Resort and Spa and everything's going wrong and there's love stories unfolding and things being set on fire and people taking their clothes off. But in a proud twist, we always have to have a bit of burlesque, a bit of sauciness in there and a little bit of sex and sass in the shows. The entire cast is about 20 people. Then me, my stage manager and my sound light engineers are, are like the, the four that hold all the glue together. My role in, in the um, rehearsal process is to be the through line because as a cabaret compare, your job is to make it all coherent and cohesive and the compare kind of sets the rhythm and the tone of the show, um, being one of the only people in the show with a microphone in their hand. A typical show day or show prep rehearsal day um, will start with costumes and uniforms and getting everything together. Then we get into sound tech and making sure the costumes work with the dance routines because we go quite far and quite crazy with our dance routines. And then sometimes you'll get to costuming it and realize that you can't do half the stuff that you were doing with those dresses. So this is our entrance for Proud Cabaret. And now we're going to take you to the dressing room. This is our dancer dressing room. We have a lot of dancers, so we have a lot of spaces here and everyone has their own individual makeup stand. You'll probably see some of these posters around, which are from the Proud Gallery, which is all rock and roll photography, all back from the 90s and beyond. Welcome to Proud Resort and Spa. Please make yourself comfortable. No pictures, no filming. Can I get you anything? Do you need anything? I've got popcorn. I've got anything you could possibly need. What do you need? How can I help? You might want to note I don't know how to best get them, but every corner of the venue is filled with these lovely pictures of all the proud performers for about the past 10 years. So everyone has got a picture up there somewhere. Uh, most of our acts come on from either side of the stairs because it's a nice grand way to enter. And this is where the magic happens. Ding. I the most nerve-wracking part about the shows, for me as a producer watching, is acts that you know are terrifyingly dangerous. There's a few acts that I physically can't watch when I'm nearby. There's a few acts that I close my eyes until they're over. And I think it doesn't matter if these, these artists, they have been doing them for 10, 20 years. It doesn't make it any less terrifying when you see a live show and you know what they have to do. So the hair hanging knot in itself is a circus secret. It's a uh, very big uh, culty thing, so I can't tell you about that. I can tell you the basic principle, which is that when you have a little bit of hair and uh, you pull it, that hurts a lot. But if you have a big bit of, big chunk of hair and you give that a yank, that doesn't hurt as much because it's across a wider surface area. And if every single strand of hair on your head is aligned and sort of pulling together, then theoretically it, it doesn't hurt. Just before I go on, I can feel everything and you know time seems to move really slowly that makes me extra nervous <laughs> oddly my hair health has improved since i've started hair hanging i um initially i was very worried because i was getting all these little baby hairs but it's regrowth because i'm taking care of it and i'm adding oils all the time it's actually much stronger than it used to be and no blow drying no heat no dyeing no bleaching. There is a family vibe. It is very much a family atmosphere. You know everyone inside and out. You know what everybody should be doing and what they are doing. And everybody has each other's backs. It's, um, it's quite remarkable. 